Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. Great to see everyone here today. Of course, as you guys read by the title of this video, I'm doing a full face Yeezy Dollar Store makeup. And most of the items are going to be from the brand. I can't really pronounce it, but I believe it's Ioni or Ioni. Um, and just some other stuff that I found from the beauty section in the Dollar Tree. Um, still really sad that it's, of course, $1.25 now, but it's still a really good deal for these makeup. And now I got a whole bunch of stuff. I got everything to almost complete a full face. I got eyeliner, um, another eyeliner, but this is like the crayon eyeliner. I got a lip scrub. I don't think I'll really be using this for the tutorial, um, but I got it anyway because my lips have been a bit, you know, dry. I got some lash glue and I got a brow pencil. I didn't know that I accidentally picked up two because it was like a different, um, what is it, like a different color case. But uh, yeah, I bought two of those on accident. <laughs> and then I bought a mascara and their face highlighter. And then I also got the highlight and bronzer. So hopefully that looks pretty on the skin. And also one of their face mask or face massage rollers. And I have to hold it kind of close to my face because I kind of blurred out the background here. <laughs> So yeah, and then I got a whole bunch of other things. I also got the blush, and I also grabbed the um, chubby stick for the lips. So yep, yeah. and some other things that I will be showing as I am doing the full face. So let's go ahead and start this whole makeup. Okay, so I like to start with my brows first, so I'm just going to go ahead and look for the brow pencil. I guess I'm just going to stick with this one by Ioni, um, and it's the Waterproof Natural Brow Perfect Arch Dark Brown Pencil. So it's this one right here. I don't know if you guys can see if I put it up close. Um, maybe that's the best I can do. So that's how it looks like. And yeah, so let's open this up. I normally don't use um, brow pencils. I kind of stick with like a brow pomade, but um, this is really interesting to try. I hope it's really pigmented so I don't have to do a lot of things. I'm just gonna go grab a brow spoolie so that I can blend it out. So yeah, I'm just gonna use the Morphe spoolie here. And let me grab a mirror. Look at this, AOA. <laughs> so let me see if it looks pigmented. So, so far, the line looks okay. Oh, let me see the other one. I tend to like to draw one in the bottom and then one on top, just so I kind of visualize how my arch is going to look like for my brows. And then after I kind of have like a visual, I kind of draw it in. Um. Okay, um, so far it's not bad for $1.25. Like I said earlier, I don't really use brow pencils to, you know, really draw in my brows. Maybe then here I'll go in with the spoolie and kind of blend it out towards the front. And then slowly go back in with um more of the brown pencil nope. <laughs> it looks really funny right now but trust the process ladies okay all right it's slowly getting there i see it slowly and then kind of use the pencil to go up and now i'll go back to the spoolie and blend it all out all right, you can tell by this brow, this brow. Okay, this one started to look more on fleek. All right. Okay, I think I'm just gonna stick with like this brow looking like this. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the other side here. It's okay. Hopefully the concealer could save it. So far, I'm just gonna leave it like this and then move on to concealing the brows. Okay, so the only concealer that I found at my Dollar Tree is this Essentially Ageless Hydrating Serum Concealer. And this is in the shade um, it's Light Medium. So here it is. Okay, open this up. I hope this is a good concealer. Um, never tried this brand before, but it looks like it's pretty filled up. And I hope this is the right shade for me because they don't have a lot of shades available there. So I'm just gonna use a flat brush here and put apply it from the tip here and conceal my brows so they look more defined. It is a bit mm -mm, like yellow, but I think it'll work fine. Okay, and then I kind of like to bring the concealer down a little bit to my eyelids. And then I also like to take one of these triangle, uh, I don't know what it is like a foot and just kind of pat down the concealer. Yeah, and spread it a little bit over here. And then I could go in and use the remaining on top of the brow. And then the arch will look a lot nicer. So this brow looks like this and the other one looks like that. So we're just gonna clean it off and I'll be right back. Okay, here I'm back with my brows looking pretty good and now on fleek. So then I like to move on to eyeshadow. And the only eyeshadow I could find is this 12 color eyeshadow by LA Colors. Looks like this. Uh, maybe I gotta move a little bit closer so you guys can see. Um, and so I guess I'll give this a try. I don't remember, <laughs> um, the last time I owned one of these palettes, it might be like a very long time ago when probably my mom had one, uh, but that was it. Um, but yeah, this all looks like, and the colors look very pretty. It's more like a natural um, palette, so I don't mind that because I'm going out today, so I'll be using something natural, so yeah. But most of this looks like they're all shimmery shades, so I hope it's not all shimmer, um, but yeah. I'm just gonna prime my eyes with the same concealer because I don't think I got a primer for my eyes. So let's just do that. Yeah. And then I'll just use that same, same little puff and pat it down. You can also use your like your little foundation sponge or a brush, but um, I'm just gonna use this. So so far, I can still looks good on my eyelids. So I'm just gonna use my eyeshadow brush and use some colors from the palette. Um, if I'm reaching over here, that's because all my brushes are right in front of me, um, literally pretty far away from me too. Okay, so let me see which one I want to go in with. I think I'll take maybe, let's start with this shade first, just as the transition shade. And I can tell it's a bit really dusty. So I'm just gonna tap some of that off. So this eyeshadow actually has like a very sweet smell to it, um, which I don't really mind because it kind of reminds me of like my mom's makeup back in the day. Um, when I was in elementary school, just like, you know, <laughs> trying to wear makeup for the first time. So yeah, it kind of brings me back to some of my childhood age, um, some memories and all that. But it's like a pretty shimmer though, so I'm not really going to complain much. I know you guys can't see it right now, but I think you guys just noticed the light brownness of it. Because it's more like a transition shade, so it won't really pop out on camera. 
All right, so maybe I'll go ahead and use this shade. Um, and now I'm just gonna believe that all of these shades are shimmery. But you know what? I think this palette is really nice for a um, young teenager, maybe like a middle schooler to try out if you know you're a parent who allows your kids to wear makeup in middle school um just so they could kind of play around with the makeup and get used to the colors i think i'll move in with this one here it's a bit more of like a you know chocolate brown shade i realized that i should not be tapping any of the axes off because then it just takes away the pigments so I'm just gonna leave it in and just slowly blend in a circular motion just so that hopefully it stays. As you can tell, there's not a lot of opaque. Um, the color's not really showing up and I'm actually forcing my brush into the palette too to get as, as much pigment as I can in the brush. Okay, so it kind of looks like this. And then I'm gonna take a brush with nothing at all and just kind of blend it out together a little bit just because it's a little bit hard to blend this eyeshadow all right so that looks good i think i'm gonna take this very white shade here it's like a shimmery white shade and just apply a little bit with this shade right here together and put it in the inner corner here of my eye just to brighten up this area right here so now we're gonna move on to eyeliner and so I'm going to be using the liquid felt tip eyeliner by Ayani and I guess this one is called Kim and it's their waterproof extreme black precise wing eyeliner. That's how it looks like. Um, the liner is a bit thick, but we will see how I could apply this on my eyes. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm just gonna do it on the outside. I'm a bit nervous. That was a terrible attempt of this eyeliner. Oh my gosh. I guess one reason why this eyeliner was a bit hard to use was because the end part here is very thin and then the one that's connecting to the wand is very thick. So you don't have enough of the little curve to give you that perfect eyeliner. So it looks really weird right now on my eyes, like as you can tell. Um, so yeah, I'm not really loving this eyeliner and I probably would not purchase it again. So this right here is definitely a no. Okay, so I can see that my eyes do not look even right now. So I'm just gonna use some eyelid tape. Um, these eyelids tape, I did not buy it from the Dollar Tree. But, uh, they are pretty unique. Um, I will list them down below in my description box. All you need is the eyelid tape and it just works with water and then it sticks on your eyelids. So it comes with this little spray and it also comes with a little tiny tweezer. So you open up the little sticky part of the thing here and then take it from the outer corner of the thing just spray like maybe two times or just one will be enough and use that sticky side to stick on your eyelids so i'll show you this side and then you guys can see on that side here so put a little bit higher than your normal crease area of your eye and then kind of 
push it in. When you look up, you can tell this one has an eyelid and this one doesn't. So yeah, two different eyes right now. So now we're gonna move on to mascara and this is the Volumizing Black Mascara um, and it's a special tapered brush allowing even application to all lashes. This is also by Ioni. And I guess this one is called Brie. So they have their own names, I guess. Just an easy black mascara here in a black packaging. And this is how it looks like with the application. So I'm not a fan of the mascara. Um, it's a bit prickly on the eyelids. And I don't really like how it feels like on my lashes. I feel like it's not really getting every inch of the lashes. Because I have to keep twisting and moving and really like trying to pack on the mascara so it actually stays on the lash. All right, so I'm gonna move on with lashes. And this is the Ioni 3D Fox Mink Lashes. Uh, this is the Natural Light Wispy. Uh, this is the only style I could find at my Dollar Tree. Um, it's very natural looking, so I don't know how it'll look like on my eyes, but I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a try. Um, but the packaging is really cute. I love the flowers. <laughs> doing this and then I'm gonna use their lash glue as well and apply my lashes with this lash glue I like how I said it is a hundred percent vegan fast drying gentle electric free and long lasting it's their everlasting lash glue so yeah oh it'll save me some time Oh my gosh, I think I bought a dried out lash glue. There's like no glue on here. Look at it, that's like a, a dry glue and that's it. Oh my God, there's actually nothing in here. Well, how very sad. Wasted $1.25 on this and there's nothing there. So I guess I'm going to stick with my House of Lashes glue for this makeup look. All right, here it is with the lashes on. I don't know if I made a difference, but my lashes do look a little bit longer and that's it. So now we can move on to face and I'm really excited for this. Okay, I actually did not buy a face primer, so I'm gonna use one of my own because I actually want this foundation to last long. So I'll be using the Makeup Primer by the brand Spana Colors. I'm trying this out as well. Um, it's like a, a Thai brand. So yeah, it's more like a very nice silk primer. And it has like a really nice um, subtle like perfume scent to it. So now that primer is on, my face feels really silky and smooth. I'm going to try the Essentially Ageless Hydrating Serum Foundation in the shade Light Medium as well. Um, I don't know why the concealer and the foundation is exactly the same shade, but those are the only two shades I could find. Just squeeze on some on my face. Okay, that was a lot. I should have gently squeezed the bottle. <laughs> Oops. So it is a bit more of a yellow tone on my skin, just like the concealer. It's just that the concealer is a little bit lighter. So I hope the concealer will save me on here because this is way too dark for my skin. As you can tell, the skin of my neck is more... <laughs> it's a little bit more wider than this this is tan and I'm going out uh oh I do love how nice it looks 
I don't know if it's the primer. I don't know if it's the foundation, but it looks really nice. Okay. Let me just kind of blend this down my neck. I actually really love this foundation. It's really sad that I don't have it in my shade. And if it does, it'd be so nice. I don't even know how many shades this foundation carries or this brand actually has for this one, but definitely really hydrating. They were not lying about this. This is a $1.25 foundation. It's not even caking. You see how dewy it looks on me? Except for it making me look super tan. Wow, I love, 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 love this. So let me go ahead and with the concealer here. Um. Okay, it is a little bit more brighter, right? Than the other foundation here. So I think it might be able to save me here. Just gonna start with these three sections because I don't know if it's going to dry or not. And use the same sponge to pat this into the eyes. My sister's dog is barking. Okay, I think this is actually helping the foundation. This is actually really nice concealer too. I'm so sorry my dog is barking upstairs, but I cannot get her to be quiet. Wow, I'm actually loving my skin right now. Can you guys see how dewy and glowy it looks? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go back and restock. I'm just gonna tap some a little bit right here. Okay, that's how it looks like with the concealer. I don't know if I want to go in with another round, but I think I'm still going to add in some concealer. Um, maybe a little bit of this e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. Just a little bit here. Just to brighten it up a little bit more. Just because, you know, I ain't trying to... I'm not trying to make myself look really, really tan. Even though I wouldn't mind. It is the summertime. Um, but I have to kind of make it match my neck and my hands and my arms right now. So to set my eyes, I bought this and it's the Infused Press Powder. Uh, face powder by Be Pure and it provides smooth matte finish set makeup and controls shine. I don't know if I really want to use this, but I kind of don't want to, um, you know, leave this like this too, even though I loved the glow. And I'm going to use this triangle here. Just pat that under my eyes. Yeah gonna pat that on the other side here and then as you can tell it literally kills the shine it was not even joking about it but this powder actually doesn't leave any like cakiness even though you're patting it in so I actually don't mind it actually looks pretty nice and when you blend it onto the face or you're just patting it into the skin it actually melts right into the skin so there's actually no Patchiness. That's actually really nice. I'm actually gonna use this again. All right, for bronzer and highlighter, I'm gonna use these two right here. So this is the highlighter and this is the bronzer. The packaging is really pretty though. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the bronzer and the shade is called Cleo. It is a brighten and shine, soft texture, long lasting bronzer very tiny and cute there's a little magnet to it i'm hoping it's not so um shimmery and it's more of a bronze okay kind of gives you that really bronze glow and it doesn't take a lot 
on your brush to actually give you the bronze. So one thing in mind. And of course, I have a really big forehead, so I will be bronzing as much as I can on top of my forehead here. It's actually really pretty. You guys can see it? The glow it gives and the bronze. Alright, so I had to do a voiceover for this part because my mother-in-law, they decided to come in and just sit on the bed and chill and they were pretty noisy, so I couldn't talk through this part. But this highlighter though, it was so pretty. Um, I loved it on my nose bridge. It made it look so much nicer. Um, and yeah, it was just like really pretty highlighter. And for also the blush that I'm using, a little goes a long way. Do not pack your brush with this um, blush because it is super pigmented. And for the lips, I did use this color crayon. I didn't like how it looked when I was drawing it on, so I decided to just smear the color because it was really bright. And so it would not really match the look. And so after doing that, it looked a lot better and I actually kind of liked it. It reminded me a little bit of like those Korean um, or K-beauty lips, but I just didn't add any gloss to it. Um, but then I did love the color after blending it with my fingers. Next, I did not have any setting spray over at my Dollar Tree, so I'm just gonna go in with this One Size Beauty setting spray, and then with the eyeshadow, just going in with my underwater line. All right, love, this is the finished look of the whole Dollar Tree makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm so sorry that like literally halfway, I had to do a voiceover for this video and then pop back and talk. Um, my mother-in-law and my kids decided to pop in and um, enjoy and make noises in the background. So I couldn't talk anymore throughout the whole video. So I'm so sorry about that and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, love. <laughs> Thank you.